Dia. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, babies. Hi, my name. You guys are sleeping together? Were you guys sleeping together? You haven't seen this camera in a long time, huh? Hi, good morning. It's first day of school day. Hoy es primer día del colegio. Vamos pa la escuela. Vamos pa la escuela. Vamos pa la escuela. You ready? You ready? Vamos. Really crap though, I don't know. Okay. Buenos días. Sleepy heads. Good morning, boys. Today's your first day of school. Pre-K-2, here we come. <laughs> Are you ready, Poppy? No, I'm definitely not. It's been an emotional mess. I have. Understandably so. I have, but they're gonna be great. They're done? Yes. Yeah, we went to an orientation a few days ago and they loved it and they played and destroyed the classroom, which I'm sure they'll teach them what they can touch and what they can't touch from here on out. But I think they're gonna do great. They're eager and ready to learn. They need to be on some kind of like curriculum because they're just like sponges of knowledge wanting to learn more and more every day. So, to get a che che. I can't wait for them to go to school. Yeah. Okay, well, well, there's a dog on the, the back here. Vamos to my cheche. Vamos to my cheche. Vamos to my cheche. Che -che Let's, go Let's go have oh, some milk. Mama. And well, wow, well, see? E. Let's get him dressed. Let's do it. Well, wow, well, see? Hey, mommy. <coughs> Zoe. Cheche. No, I'll get a cheche. Okay. Help time. I want to ta. Uh, Two. Can you get a cheche, Nene? Can you get a cheche? Go ahead. Yo te la aguanto. Yo te la aguanto. It's okay. I'm kidding the camera. He missed the camera. <laughs> mm, he wants to cuddle with Bobby. Zoe. Zoe, está fuera. Can you get a cheche? Cheche? Can you get a cheche? Poquitico? No more for you. Okay, fine. I'll leave you alone. Ready for them to start school. I think they're ready too. They really, they want to learn. And just being in the house is just so hard to have like a, a teaching curriculum. So it's good that they're going to school. They get to socialize with other kids. Wow, wow, wow. They're going to socialize with other kids and they're going to learn how to play and, and just um, play with their surroundings and and touch and feel everything oh, and wow. it's gonna be amazing. It's a great school. Ese son los zapatos para el colegio. ¿Te gustan esos zapatos? Devin, tú puedes decir qué es qué es eso? ¿Eh? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Okay, but they done little. You guys ready? Uh -oh. We're ready for school. First Yay. day of school. Yay! 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 High five! High five! Yeah! High five! Oh, Jay! Oh! Mama, are you gonna be okay here by yourself? Oh, I think she's gonna be in heaven. She's gonna get her peace and quiet back. Okay, vamos. Let's go. Vamos. Okay, you ready? Vamos, <laughs> siéntate hoy un momentico. Siéntate un momentico, nene. Con tu manito. Here we go. Ready, nene? Vamos. ¿No te quieres ir? ¿Qué te pasa? Vamos. You ready, Nene? 
Bless you. Bless you, Nene. In la calle, no. Ready? Here we go. Ready. All right, here we go. First day of school on our way. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm looking hard. I don't know. It's just very emotional because this is the same car that we brought them home from the hospital. And now we're gonna drop them off at school. They have been my life for the last two years, every single day. And it's just um, the end of a chapter, which is the hard part. Is that it? But it's a good thing. It is a great thing. And it's a hard part because that part of our life is over. And I have immense gratitude to have had the opportunity to stay home and to take care of them and love them and teach them and... You know, I'm sure that they're grateful to have had you home every single day because many kids don't get to have a parent home with them for two years, you know? Some are lucky enough to have them if they get them for three months, you know? Yeah. Because life is just like that. It's very difficult. It was just one of the most beautiful chapters of my life to, you know, watch them grow and just... <laughs> It's just immense gratitude. Immense is what I feel. Because I don't feel bad that they're going to school. God knows they're gonna do great. They have each other. I don't have any dad guilt. I just have immense gratitude to have been able to do what I have done for the last two years, is what I feel. It's just an overwhelming amount of gratitude. Now it's your turn to have some poppy time to himself and to just focus on yourself while they're doing their things. I'm sure you'll, you'll fill your schedule up with incredible things to do and provide more content for you guys. <laughs> and his hand is fine, right? Kaboom! Kaboom! Bless you! Bless you, Nene! Okay, we have arrived. <laughs> what are you laughing at? And you. Why? You're like an emotional roller coaster. You're like, it's going up and down. Where are you at now? You're in the middle? I'm bracing for impact. <laughs> well, they're not supposed to impact, but yes. We're here. I'm excited. I think they're going to have fun. They're going to enjoy their school. They're going to enjoy their socializing with other kids and just getting to know them and learn about them and learn about the environment and everything they're going to be doing in school. So. Yeah, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, we dropped them off. We did it. We did it. High five. <laughs> we cut the umbilical cord and they did not cry. No, Dean actually ran inside. He was ready to play. And I just took like a big sigh of relief as we were walking out because they didn't cry. I think it would have been a lot harder for me, for the boys. There was a lot of kids that were cry. crying. They didn't want to detach from their parents. So it was so, that's hard to see. So I'm glad that they're independent and they wanted to go in and explore and play. Yeah, we'll see how the rest of the week plays out. Yeah, yeah, because I think once they they know their first day, what's gonna happen? I think tomorrow might be. Who knows? It might be. It'll, it'll either be easier or it might be more difficult depending on how they feel in the mornings. Yeah, because they know what's coming. Okay, first drop off for two two K. I can't even talk. I'm just. First drop off of pre-K to Doug. That's what he's trying to say. Yes. I feel okay. I feel okay. Try not to lose it when I drop you off at home now. Um, it feels like a little part of me has like been ripped out a little, kind of. That's understandable. But I also feel like a sigh of relief that they are in good hands and that they took it well, at least today. The best part of the boys starting school is picking them up. Look at this adorable clip. Nene, hi. 
And the hardest part of the boys starting school is everything that comes with it. All right, we are on our way to the urgent care. So last week was the first week of school for the boys. And Dean had a very high fever last night of 103. And today he has a fever of 105. So the doctor recommended that we rush him to urgent care. Ya voy, ya voy, nene. Ya voy. Ahora cuando paramos te doy agua, okay? So that's what we are doing. She recommended us giving him a cold bath to get the fever to go down. And that is what we did. I got him dressed and we are hauling ass to the urgent care. And you know, as a parent, it's just scary as hell when your child has such a high fever. I used to have fever convulsions as a child, so you know, a lot can happen with a very high fever. So nothing, we're heading over there now, and hopefully we can get the fever down and everything is okay. You okay, Nene? No te sientes bien? Agua. Agua, ahora te voy a dar agua. Ahora. You okay, Nene? Rica la agua. Okay. We have the best pediatrician. I text her and within minutes she called me back and told me exactly where to take <sighs> Dean. Just grateful to have that support. I think that when you have children, it's so important to build a team that's gonna help you take care of them. And a pediatrician is number one on my list. I have her on speed dial. We are almost there. He seems to be doing okay. You okay, Machito? So, hopefully, we can get this speed burn down. People in Miami do not know how to drive. You ready, Nene? Come. Oh. You okay? Te sientes bien? Hi. Marzo what? First name is Dean. July 6, 2020. Mm-hmm. Can I have the last name one more time? Marzoa, M-A-R-Z-O-A. He's never been very sick in any class before. Correct. You got the insurance card and ID insurance? Yes. This is D-E-A-N. Correct. How are you? Okay. It's foot? Like on his... On his toe. Okay, so we get it. No. It's okay, Bobby. It's just a sticker, okay? It's a sticker. No, nada. No, nada, nene. It's okay. Um, I've been doing a mix of Tylenol and what's the other one? Uh, Motrin. Motrin, every four hours. All right, so we got a room. They did a COVID test and a flu test, and we're waiting to see those results. And I guess talk to the doctor. You okay, Nene? Is that traumatizing? It's okay, mi machito lindo. It's okay. You okay, Nene? Todo va a estar bien. Yo sé que tú no te sientes bien. Oh, baby, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You okay, Nene? Keep the flash It's okay. So yesterday I was in the urgent care with Dennis. He had a very high fever and a very bad headache. Um, it's okay. They took a COVID test, a flu test, and a. It's okay, Nene. And a uh, throat, throat, throat uh, test, and it all came back negative. He's doing much better today, but as you can see, Dean isn't feeling so well today. His fever has gone down. Now it's at 99 because we just did Motrin about half an hour ago. So. Let's see how this progresses and what the doctor is saying. Take a day. Take a day. Okay, should we be? It's okay. You should keep it be. He is definitely not feeling well because he's not one to just chill. He normally is 
running around. He'd be grabbing all of those cords, opening those drawers, that trash. But today, what I see, don't mean him, don't. He's just not feeling good, my baby. Ya, Nini. Vamos para la casa. Vamos a ver a tu manito. Hmm. So we just left the urgent care. They took a whole bunch of tests. It's not COVID. It's not the flu. And we have to wait for more results tomorrow. He doesn't have a fever right now, but you can tell that he's pretty sick. So we just have to keep a close eye on him, give him medication. So vamos a ver, wish us luck. And hopefully he gets better real soon. Okay, so this story has a happy ending. This morning we woke up and Dean didn't have a fever. Dennis doesn't have a fever. It was, uh, I guess it was like a 24 hour luck, right? Yeah, I still have like a sore throat. How are you feeling? I'm doing okay. No fever is good, but my throat's like really, I feel like I have like a ball in my throat. It's hard to swallow, but the Advil's helping now, so we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Since we were stuck at home all day yesterday, we decided to take a drive to a train park since the boys love trains. They have little bitty bitty trains just to get out of the house and at least do a ride. We got the boys back there watching, watching their movie. Thing. and uh, we are getting to the park it's like it's about an hour away from our house so it's pretty far but I guarantee the boys are gonna absolutely love it we're gonna hear choo-choo non-stop okay we're here I'm going to train it hey mira mira que eso que eso a train. Damn. Como as a train? Choo choo. A train. A train. A train. Que es eso? A train. A train. A train chiquitico. Choo choo. Choo choo. Como es el tren? Chu chu. Let's do it on command. Chu chu. El tren. Okay, Nene, are you ready? Here we go. Chu chu. <laughs> we definitely survived this weekend. It was so cute, the train. The boys, you can see uh, Devin has a little bit of a cough, yeah. but we just needed to get out of the house and get a little bit of sunshine because being stuck inside the house, they just get stir crazy. Yeah, and we do too. Yeah, so we had a great time. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Send you much love from the Marzoa family.